Boo. Let people enjoy things. Let people enjoy things. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah. I'm your voice teacher. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm so glad you're here. Recently, I have gained a lot of subscribers and I am just so glad that you're here. Today, we're reacting to High School Musical, the musical, the series. I should tell you where to find me if you want to. You can find me over on Instagram and TikTok at your voice teacher. If you are looking to improve your voice, connect your voice in the middle, learn how to mix, find control and consistency, you can check out my singing course, Reclaim Your Voice with the link in the description. All right, we got High School Musical, the musical, the series. Man, that is a mouthful. I reacted to a couple songs before from this show, which I will link right here. I also reacted to a lot from Olivia Rodrigo, which there's just a lot of them. You can go ahead and find the playlist for all Olivia Rodrigo songs. I'm really excited to watch a whole episode. I love the songs that I listened to before, but I haven't had a chance to watch the whole episode. So let's jump into it. Oh, shoot. Oh. Hi, this video is sponsored by Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that gives you the opportunity to try out new perfume and cologne without having to commit to a full bottle. That is right up my alley. I love changing up my fragrance, but perfume can be expensive. Did you know that some bottles of perfume can cost hundreds of dollars? Can you imagine spending that much money on a bottle and then realizing you don't actually like it after a few days? Um, hi, that's me. With Scentbird, you're in control. It's flexible, so you can skip any month at any time without penalties. And there are over 600 brands to choose from, from top designers like Prada, Versace, and Gucci, and even indie labels like Vince Camuto, Sisley, and Confessions of a Rebel. All are 100% authentic. Scentbird works directly with their brands. And you get to choose which fragrance you want every month, so there are no surprises. They have perfumes and cologne for everybody and every style. Not sure what your fragrance style is? You can take the simple quiz on Scentbird to discover Discover new fragrances. Based on your responses, they'll help you find the perfect fragrance that you'll love. With Scentbird, you can get a generous amount of high-end fragrances for only $16. That way, you get to try a fragrance out at home and then decide if you want to commit to a full bottle. And with my code, it's only $11 for your first month. And when I say a generous amount, I mean it. These bottles are eight times the amount that you would get in a typical perfume sample. With each fragrance, you get a 30-day supply to try it out at home, and you can upgrade to get two or three products a month. This month I received four incredible scents, and since I'm from the future, I've already seen High School Musical the Musical the series. I'm going to match my fragrances with who I think would wear them in the show. The first one is Prada Candy. This one smells really sweet, like vanilla and caramel, hence the name, but it's also everyday, kind of flirty, I think Miss Jen would wear this scent. Personally, I've been wearing this nonstop since I got it. I think it's my favorite one. The next fragrance is Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. This one's described on the website as casual, everyday, summer, so it made me think of EJ. You only need a little bit of this cologne because it gives me powerful energy. I think EJ would wear this, but because it's EJ, I think he would probably wear a lot of it. This one, this is Wool by Commodity. This scent, Ugh, this is warm and cozy. It feels like roasting marshmallows on a cold fall night. I think Nini would rock this scent. It's subtle and inviting, very Nini. The last scent, get ready for this pronunciation, guys. Ver Desir by Veronique Gabay. The scent is like clean and fresh. It's kind of herbal, very energizing. I imagine that Carlos would wear this fragrance. He's got that vivacious energy that just calls for a signature scent. This is the one. Scentbird has a fragrance for everyone. Honestly, I can't wait to try more. Make sure to use my code to get 30% off your first month. Such a jam. No. Oh, come on. I live close to East High in Salt Lake City because I live in Utah. That's my claim to fame, I guess. I've been there. I, I know what it looks like. Oh, and this is my costume in Act 2. Flawless. Love it. Ooh. They're so cute. Oh. Is that the fashionable best friend? I love her. All denim. Yeah, I, I had the best summer ever. And what does you know who have to say about this? I'm waiting for the right time to tell him. Yo, Nini. What's good? Nini? Is that her name? I not know that. It was my idea to take a pause, okay? Nini was going to theater camp and... Not to I'm sorry. <laughs> I just didn't expect this like documentary style thing where he's standing and talking to the camera. I kind of like it. I just didn't expect it. Did I hang out with a couple girls this summer? 
possibly. Are we surprised? Are we surprised? I'm not gonna talk about the drama. This is just a character in a TV show. I'm just saying, are we surprised? I met somebody else at camp. I didn't Wait, plan. Is this a joke? I'm still talking here. Ooh. Ooh. He was a music man. I was marrying the librarian. It's called a showmance. Wait, you went to librarian camp? That's a thing? <laughs> Please, tell me you're joking. You guys were broken up. You know what you did, or what you didn't do. Check your Instagram. Mm -hmm. Her room is so cute. My mom would never let me have a boy alone in my room. On my bed? No way. Happy almost one year anniversary, baby. I, uh... I wrote this for you. Almost one year. That's a long time. Much has happened. Think of what we've done in the time that the earth has traveled around the sun. Aww. Winter, She's so cute. God, her voice is so good. <laughs> like the way that we fly. This is so sweet. Like the way that we go. And I love, I think I kind of, you know. The comment, you are too pure for this world. Oh, Olivia. Love you. Oh, God. What? I love you. Say it back right now. Oh. You've been together for a year. I mean, I know they're teenagers, but a year in teenage years is like five years. That's a long time. Say that you love her. Say it. You're blowing me off for some theater punk you met four weeks ago at a lake. You kind of dumped me. It was a break. It wasn't a breakup. Now, we've all seen Friends, right? The question of, it was a break. We were on a break! Right? Okay, this is a problem because he literally just said, did I hang out with a couple girls? Yeah. Did I think about her the whole time? Yeah. Bullshit. Bullshit. Get out of here. You. Okay. But it's a breakup now. <laughs> Hop off, girl. Yeah, Nene. Stay out of it, Courtney. You stay out of it. I'm dismantling the patriarchy this year and I'm not afraid to start with you. Hell yeah. This is a nightmare. Everything is terrible. Love is dead. Oh, boo-hoo. You never said that you loved her back, so how is love dead? You awful, awful person. <laughs> I'm gonna try and move past how much I hate him. I can't remember his name. Nini and Courtney, I know their names, but I don't remember the boys' names because I just don't really care. Courtney is my favorite. I wanna see more from her. Something's never changed, dude. I've been wearing the same socks for three days. The quirky best friend. I actually don't love that trope. You've got like the hot guy and then his best friend is like quirky. I don't really love it. Not because I don't love a quirky guy, but because they always are the same. They're always the same. Like the fact that they call him Big Red, like, come on, get a more, more unique nickname. When I heard that the high school where High School Musical was shot had never staged a production of High School Musical, the musical, I was shocked as an actress, inspired as a director and triggered as a millennial. <laughs> I loved that. That was hilarious. I loved it. I've spent two years in the chorus and he's tied. It would be insane to think I might actually have shot at playing Gabriella. No, girl, you're gonna get it. You're the main character, did you know? I'm really liking this. I've seen the original movie 37 <laughs> times and the first 15 minutes of both sequels. Excuse me, is there somewhere you're supposed to be? Broadway. I'd just rather see our students practicing skills for the real world, you know? Oh. Boo. Boo. Let people enjoy things. Let people enjoy things, okay? Teenagers love theater. All my theater kids out there, right? You're with me. So lame. I hate him. I just want to be clear. This new drama teacher may live in a Hollywood dream world where we're the wildcats, but we're not. We're the East High Leopards. Always. <laughs> I like his energy, this kind of like deadpan delivery. I like him. Also, he's very cute. Are he and the drama teacher gonna get together? I feel that energy. I already feel it. I love a good love story, but I hate that he doesn't like theater. That's lame. But I kind of am predicting that he, yeah, let's, let me throw in my predictions, obviously. I have to do this. He and the drama teacher are gonna have some chemistry. They're gonna fall in love, maybe. There, there's gonna be sparks, at least, at least a little bit. And also, he is going to let down his hard exterior and enjoy theater, probably just from the audience. Or maybe he'll be in the show. That would be even better. And so I see to my mom looking this fabulous while also fighting for intersectional feminism is my summer job. And that's how I spent my break. Yep, Courtney's the best. I don't want to see another boy hurt you. Remember how crushed you were after Ricky? 
crushed is a little dramatic. You didn't leave your bedroom for 48 hours. I had to slide pizzas under your door. It was dark. Hey, you go through a breakup? A 48 hour wallow period is totally justified. That's not that long. You slid pizza under the door for her. That's, that's a good friend. <laughs> Two years ago at East High, Nini played the back end of the cow and Gypsy, and I was like, whoa, who is the cute chorus cow, and why is she not playing a human? And then <laughs> this summer happened, and she, like, completely came out of her shell. And her cow costume. I mean, she's just amazing. She's meant for greatness. I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't know. I'm getting bad energy from him. EJ? Is that his name? That was on, I mean, that was on his jacket, so I'm going to assume. I don't like him. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Something weird. Something's weird. And what are the odds that the guy she hooks up with at camp goes to East High? Apparently the odds are exceptionally good. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Okay, I like, I like him. I like Big Red. The one person I go to for advice is currently on our honeymoon in the cafeteria. Oh, boo-hoo, Ricky. This is your fault. I was a stage manager for last year's production of Brigadoon, and Nini was the only cast member who gave me an opening night card, Aww. which is like a pretty big gesture from a girl who is literally playing a tree. But like, how does a tree get to date a senior? All right, your turn, girl. What? Hold on a second. Is Nini a sophomore? Is that is that the age? I don't know if they've said that. How does a tree get to date a senior? <laughs> like, is she saying that she hasn't like put in the work? Like, if you're a tree, you can't date a senior? You can be anything that you want to be, okay? You can do anything that you want to do. If you're a tree, you can reach for the sky and you can date a senior. <laughs> it's like this stress stream where I'm all alone on this big Broadway stage and I open my mouth and nothing comes out. There's obviously something about being heard that feels off limits to you. Do you not think you've earned it? Well, I don't know. How do you stop having a dream? You live it. Wow, I like, that was very profound. What's the score? Ah, oh, Grandma's letting me win. You're doing that on your own, sweetie. <laughs> Does she have two moms? I'm really excited if she has two moms. That's amazing. Okay, I'm calling mom. Don't. She doesn't want to hear from me right now, okay? What? She just, she just needs a couple more days in Chicago to think things over. Oof. Oof. Shouldn't he be on an airplane right now to Chicago? Shouldn't he be fighting to, to save this? This is like the office. You have moments where you're like, D is there a camera crew in his house? It's just talking to a camera crew. They're just following them around. This is sad. This is sad. Potential divorce is sad. Do you even know the plot of High School Musical? It's about the character Troy having to choose between being true to his friend Chad or following his heart with Gabriella. Why do you know so much about High School Musical? They uh, they played on a loop in my allergist's office. It's okay, you can be a fan of High School Musical. And you don't have the hair for it. Good, okay, because Zac Efron's hair, not great. Ricky, your hair is better. Make sure your audition number is clearly visible on your clothes. This isn't a game. Wow, this is serious. I'm actually kind of bummed that we don't have any competition here. They would make getting the leads all the sweeter. Oh, EJ, you're terrible. <laughs> this high school is talented. You see them dancing? Oh my gosh. I could never. I have always been a singer who moves poorly. A singer who moves poorly-ish, you know? I could never. Damn. Number one, she's a main character. Oh my God, is she gonna get Gabriella? Is that what's gonna happen? She's gonna get cast as Gabriella and Nini is not. I hope not. Summer at camp, I went on for the lead when she got low grid salmonella, so <laughs> I'm ready. Great story. You know, I've never been to a camp or been an understudy. You'll have to tell me all about it. Oh, you're terrible. Gina. Ew, I don't like her. People who are at auditions, I mean, it's always girls, isn't it? Girls who are at auditions or callbacks that feel the need to intimidate other people. It's just such a waste of time. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Bragging in the waiting room. You can be nice. You can be friendly. Being mean or like passive aggressive or like snarky doesn't m give you a chance, like a higher chance of getting cast. Do not like her. If that's what you were studying, stop wasting your time. You don't need to massage Miss Jen's bruised ego just because her lights went out on Broadway. That's not. He's awful too. How about we have you read for Kelsey? Gabriella, I want to audition for Gabriella. 
Okay. Yeah. Sticking up for yourself. I've really got to go, but uh, if you get the DVD out, just know that I borrowed it from the library without checking it out. Wish me luck. Oh my gosh. Why do I hate him and also like like him better than these other characters? I don't like Ricky, but I like him better than EJ. And I like Ricky better than I like girl number one that was rude. But I still don't like Ricky. He needs to redeem himself. And now looking in your eyes, I feel in my heart. Okay, he's got a great voice. I like it. I like the depth and the sparkle, the resonance he has in his voice. It's really nice. Start of something new. I still don't like him, but I like his voice. <laughs> Ew, 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 ew. No, cancels out, cancels out. You wink at the director like that because you're so cocky? No, mm -mm. nope, don't like it. My mom always says that if you can't be number one at something, it isn't worth doing. That's terrible advice. To be here with you, oh, this is good. In okay. She's belting really a lot of that. You've got this. There's nothing for you to be nervous about. You went on this summer for the lead role with 20 minutes notice. You didn't miss a beat. You did that yourself. You've got this. That's nice. He's being supportive. I really appreciate that. Oh my God. I'm doing it again. Yeah, you are. You're a <laughs> total weirdo. And 100% real. And that is why I love you. You're, you're just going to be out of town for like a month, right? And, and you'll probably have no reception in the woods. Maybe we should just like chill for a minute. You know, like take, take a temporary pause. Oh, that's terrible. And he had the audacity to come back to school and say that it was just a break and then act like she broke up with him. My guy, she said she loved you and then you said, let's take a break. That, that's a breakup. How dare you hurt Olivia? Nini, how dare you hurt her? Okay, Nini, whenever you're ready. Am I too late? Am I too late? <laughs> Troy would have arrived on time. Thanks. Let me do the talking. Okay, Nini, <laughs> let's try this again. She's like, you got this, please be babe. quiet. Woo! Oh, oh. <laughs> this director is a mess. I never believed in what I couldn't see. I never opened my heart. <laughs> To all the possibilities. I'm getting chills. She's so good. And now looking in your eyes, I feel in my heart. I'm just giddy. At the start of something new. I never knew that it could happen till it happened to me. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, she's mixing so well. Listen to this again. Listen to this. Also, what the heck? These chandeliers above her? The budget. Okay, no, this is a dream. I never knew that it could happen till it happened to me. Oh, uh. yeah. I didn't know it before, but now it's easy to see. Oh. Stop, okay. I'm literally covered in chills. She's so good. And this area of her voice, this middle area where she's mixing, is just her sweet spot. She sounds stellar. I didn't know something new yes ma'am okay well, thank you nini i only needed 32 bars but i appreciate your commitment that's so rude that's so snarky i only needed 32 bars but i appreciate your commitment okay rude she just killed it even if you never said the l word to gabriella because that's like not even a word your parents say to each other Ooh, oof, oof, big oof. Okay, look, Ricky, I know things are hard at home. Things aren't looking good for their marriage, okay? But this is not the time to do this. This is not the time, it's a little awkward. Maybe it just means you're waiting for the right time to say it so that everyone could hear it. <laughs> so that she could. Everyone knows you're talking to her. So much has happened, think of what we've done In the oh. time that the earth has traveled round the sun Winter, spring, summer, and we're 
back to fall We've been together hand in hand through it all It's just three little words, yeah, it's not a big deal He sounds really good <laughs> I think I kinda you know I think I kinda you know Like the way that we flow like the way that we go and I love I think I kinda you know he's so talented Joshua Bassett he's so talented I did a reaction to one of his songs can't remember the name of it but I'll put it over here he's so talented he sounds fantastic but this is a little awkward I think I kinda you know excuse me Ricky do that again F sharp love it I think I kinda you know I think I kinda you so good Courtney is not having it. Guess I'm saying I don't not love you. Oh, he still can't say it. And you don't get to show up now. Just to try and confuse things. You think that's why I'm here? No, no, Nini. I always believed in you, in us. Clear! Castless time. That was really fast. Did they just cast it right then and there? You don't. Not. Trust you. You don't not. That's not the same as saying I love you. Congrats. Chad. She I'm so like excited. Chad. Yes. Holy crap, dude. Woo! This is so exciting. I love the drama. I love the conflict. Buckle up, Wildcats about to get real. Whoa, this is a Disney Channel show and she just swore. I mean, they bleeped it out. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Okay, wow. So I legitimately enjoyed that. Like I wanna watch the rest of the season. I wanna binge watch it. I love, I love the premise of it. That's really cool. I like all the characters, like even the characters that I hate, you know, I like them. I feel like the story is starting really good. I really like Nini and not just because I love Olivia, maybe, maybe a little bit, but I really like her. I like Courtney. I like the conflict, I do. And now of course I'm rooting for Ricky and Nini to get back together. Ugh, of course I am because they're really cute. The singing, amazing. I am really excited to hear everyone else sing. Julia Lester, who plays, I can't remember what her name is, but I remember the actress's name. I reacted to a song where she and Nini sang together in my first reaction. Her voice is so amazing. So let me know if you want me to do more episodes of High School Musical, the musical, the series, and I will. I wanna hear her sing again. Thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Check out the links below to see the fragrances I received this month. And don't forget to use my code to get 30% off your first month. And until next time, I'm Hannah, I'm your voice teacher, and now you're on my students. Congratulations. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please stick around. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at your voice teacher. Join my email list with the link in the description. And you can check out my brand new singing course, Reclaim Your Voice. And that's it. Okay, bye.